really, I mean, you, it's, this is this is over a thousand rupees just for just for whatever. You make you make a bunch. You make a bunch of rupees. You are you make you make a rain. It's really easy just to get a bunch of crickets. Oh, what's up? How's it going, man? Taco. What's up, gamers? It's Taco Remix. Jesus. And I know his Breath of the Wild has been out for a minute, but I thought I would do some how-to videos. I really like Breath of the Wild, although I haven't done much with it. Um, I've discovered a couple really good ways to make money. Some of them you might know, some of them you might not know. So I'm going to run through my top five ways, and I might even throw in a bonus way for you. All right, way number one is gonna be down to the bottom right in Lur Lin Village. Now I have a little stamp right here. This is where you're gonna to wanna to go. So go to the Yarin Shrine. Bye, Link. Which, by the way, if we're gonna do this, I figured might as well. It's where my Legend of Zelda hat. Why not? All right, we're in Yarin Shrine. Now, some of you might already know this. By the way, if you want to go faster at night, definitely wanna wear the Sheikah suit. Pink is pink is optional I'm gonna say it's mandatory because you just look fantastic all right so we head down here there it is we're gonna talk to this dude this is the gambler gambler is a really good way to make money before talking to him you're gonna want to save it that way if you don't guess right you can just load it when he asks how much you want to bet you want to go to the highest because we're ballers fall out of control so now he's saying go step right up, take your chances. Um, and it's pretty much a one in three chance. Uh, one you'll get 300, one you'll get 100, and I think one you'll just get one. Yeah, the single rupee. It's a garbage method. I don't like it. Let's go on to the next one. All right, so we're done with this garbage. Our next place is gonna take place in the cold. So what we're gonna wanna do is, we wanna wear something, we wanna wear something nice. Get the snow quill, headdress tunic and trousers very nice you're unfreezable fantastic now we're gonna want to head up here near hebra uh the hebra tower i put another stamp there which is near pondo's lodge so you want to travel there bye link see you oh. now that we have arrived we're gonna want to go directly to the right look at this dude look at this guy shooting this laser beam toward the castle like what the fuck are you doing with your life all right, you want to go toward the you want to go toward that shrine, but down there, look at it, look at that little lodge. You can kind of see the snowball. You get the ice crystals, which you, you know you can get rid of them with a fire sword or whatever. So let's get there a little faster. What's up, bro? What up, Pondo? Look at this Bob Ross looking dude. Jesus Christ. Hello, Kerams. If you wanted to try a raw round of snowball bowling, then you're in luck because this is the place. Thanks. Thanks, Pondo. I appreciate you. Let's try it. So this one, instead of paying 100, you only pay 20, which is fine, because this one's more about skill and not about luck. I don't like luck games. This is the snowball you'll use. It might not look like much, but it's no joke. So this one's a little bit more skill-based. Pretty easy. You see the apex right there on the right? You're going to want to go right there and try to throw your snowball in between these two divots. So if by throw, I mean you could also drop it. I personally like to drop. So you go there, pretty nice and flat, and then you do a strike almost every single time. So every time that you do a strike, he's gonna tell you, hey, how about the snowball making doohickey? But I'm overloaded with stuff, so he's just gonna give me 300 rupees. So it's a really easy way to make 300 rupees if you know what to do. Um, fortunately it is skill, so sometimes there is a little bit of randomness involved, so sometimes you do, uh, you do go off, off base. We'll try it one more time. Sometimes it can go wrong. Heading over here, make sure you're at the apex of this little hill. Drop it in between these two. Go down again. And sometimes, yeah, it just, it just goes perfectly. Okay, well, I mean... Sometimes you, you don't get strikes, okay? That, whatever, thanks. I just, 300 rupees. Oh, thanks, Pondo, I appreciate you. Jesus, all right, let's go to the next one. Screw you, Pondo! All right, 
Method number three, we're gonna be doing a lot of rock climbing. This one works a lot better than snow bowling in my opinion. So we wanna dress the part, so let's get our climbing gear up. Oh, he's cold, Link, it's okay, buddy, it's all right. By the way, if you get the set bonus, uh, your climbing jump stamina is up. You really want to do that, and you really want to have max stamina for this, because this, uh, it's non-negotiable. You absolutely need it. Might I also recommend that you get a lot of stamina stuff, a lot of stamina foods. That fall hurts. <laughs> All right, so this one's going to be at the top right of the map, right above the volcano. You're going to want to go from here, the tech lab, if you haven't discovered it yet. You want to go from there, just keep going to the left. Past this, uh, past this skull lake, where, by the way, you're gonna find Kilton. That's a whole other thing. Keep going left to the Gory Tor Shrine, and you will get Gut Check Rock, where you can do the Gut Check Challenge. So now we're up here, got my full climbing gear. Let's talk to this dude. Talk, beggy, be, be, beige, beige. Pump it up, brother! Get that Gut Check, Gut Check Challenge. You pumped. You said you punch, you can do it. She's gonna ask if you wanna do the gut check challenge or the super gut check. You're gonna wanna do the super gut check. You have to do the regular gut check first. That's fine, you do that. Go down to the super gut check. This one, you make ridiculous amounts of money. It is a 100 rupee buy-in, but if you do it right, you can get anywhere from, you have to get at least 300 rupees, anywhere from 300 to 700 rupees, depending on where you go. So this is the super gut check challenge. You can get up to 700 rupees by doing this, if you do it correctly. Maybe running wasn't the best thing to do. Again, I cannot stress enough, it is very important to have at least two upgraded, uh... The fairy. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> it's so hard to concentrate while I'm doing this. <laughs> Just to have the fairy upgrading you twice on every, on every part of the rock climbing gear. You're gonna go to the right now. Cannot stress enough how important that is. Look at that, we got a purple. Some of that purple rupee. All right. So that's good. So you wanna go off to the very, very right first and then you know you're done by once you get the silver rupee and then the red rupee. So let's let's fall off and then go all the way to the right as much as we can because we see another silver rupee right here. And we also have a red rupee. So already now we have 416 rupees, which is, you know, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we see a trail of green rupees, which is going to give us a gold rupee, which is nice. We now have 700 rupees, and then we could try to get up there. I think it might be good if we just fall though. Fall, Link, come on. And then just go over here. That way we can get our bearings, and once we get our bearings a little bit, two silver rupees, one gold rupee, that's not bad at all. And we have 47 seconds to spare. So then you just climb all the way up, and that's the end of the challenge. Really, really fast way to get rupees, in my opinion. But the next way I'm gonna show you is even better. So let's finish this real quick. All right, so what is that? 600 rupee profit, it's not bad. It's a good way to, it's a good way to get rupees once you've maxed your stamina all the way up. And if you have, oh, no, Jurashroom, yay. If you've maxed your stamina up and you have at least two upgraded parts on each of your climbing gear from the Great Fairy. So the next place is gonna require us to wear our snow quill stuff again. Glorious pink snow quill. This is the, arguably the hardest way to get rupees, but the most profitable. And that's going to lead you right over here to the Tabitha Tundra. Uh, a couple things with this. I have three skulls here. That is where the hardest enemies in the game are, the Lionels. 
Um, there's also three more Lionels over here, three of the hardest ones. If you want some really, really good weapons, you want to kill those dudes, as well as a little star for the Elden Great Skeleton. That's where the Fire Dragon you're going to find is, and then this little sword, that's where you're going to find the Fire Sword. You can light fires with it and not have to worry about any, you know, you can keep warm in the cold areas. Let's just go there. Snowfield Stable, that's where you're going to want to travel. Because you're going to need your horse for this. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to go straight to the stable, and then we're going to do some hunting. Alright, so I'm going to get Epona, because Epona is the best horse I have. In case you guys didn't know how to get Epona, um, you just you get a Super Smash Bros. Link, and then you, just, you put him down on the, on the controller, and then Epona comes out magically. Of course, you know, you need to activate the amiibo rune and then just kind of, you know, use the amiibo and then your opponent will come out. Anyway, so be sure to head north. You're going to find a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of things out here. You want to jump off the horse. You want to make sure you're using an electric bow, and I'll or not an electric bow, but electric arrows. And uh, I'm using my Savage Lionel bows times five or times three, depending on... Uh, I guess RNG. Knock the dude out. So this is what you want to get. Raw gourmet meat and raw prime meat. You want to get as much of that as possible. Uh, we got... We got some more enemies right here. All of these guys will drop raw gourmet and raw prime meat. Let's make sure that I have a proper bow here. I found the best way to do this. Oh shit, Korak, what's up, dude? I found the best way to do this is by just hitting them with the hitting them with the electric arrows because it gives you a little bit more time to grab the stuff. If you don't grab it right in time, it will turn into frozen meat. All these guys are dropping really good stuff. Ugh. But yeah, if you don't if you don't grab it in time, if all that stuff freezes over, and uh, you're gonna have a bad time once that happens. So these guys, you're gonna also want to kill. And that, you want to use the fire arrows, because the fire arrows are going to kill him in one hit. <laughs> and the dude shatters into nothing. And this is what you want, the Icy Lizalfos Tail. You want to get as many of those as possible. Once you start getting a little bit more, by the way, this whole, this whole tundra, you can keep going up and down on this, and these guys are going to keep spawning over and over again. Um... You want to use the electric arrows because the electric arrows stops them from moving for a little bit before they die. It gives you plenty of time to run up to them and grab the meat before it freezes over. As far as the icy Lizalfos tails, um, I'm going to explain right now. And keep in mind, like I said, this is a mix of Method 4 and Method 5. Finally, we want to come down here near the Twin Peaks. This is the Dueling Peaks. If you're just starting out in the game and you need some quick cash, this is a really great place to go, and I'll explain why right now. You want to go to the Dueling Peaks Tower? Let's travel there now. Bye, Pona. Bye, Link. So now here we are at the Dueling Peaks Tower. Um, you might wonder why I have a little gemstone right here to the very left of this tower. That is where it te <laughs> it shows me where to where to go off. I've uh, I've gone off in other directions before. I don't know why. Don't judge me. But I go through here. If it if it helps, you can always just go toward this little area right here. So let's go. So before we do anything else, I'm going to do my final. I'm going to wear the Fierce Deity. Because the Fierce Deity is my favorite. I love it. <laughs> and if you guys want to know how to get that, I mean, it's really easy. Uh, I, use, I use Power Tag stuff. So the Power Tag stuff will... Uh, you can put you can put Fierce Deity Link on this if if the amiibo's not out yet. If you guys are interested in getting your own Fierce Deity Link, I've included Link down there to Amazon where you can get one for cheap. All right, so let's run down here, travel all the way down, encampment. I already killed them all because I was like, hey, screw you, and then I shot an arrow and it made everything blow up and then everybody died. It was glorious. So you want to head to the left toward the road and what you need to see right here is a little cave now this cave has some rare rocks right around here which I blew up already I've already cleared this area out I wish I could have showed you guys um, be sure to take a picture 
of the rocks that are here because it's a rare, they're rare minerals. So you can always use your Sheikah Slate to find more rare rocks, and that's another way of getting money. All right, now that we're done with that, let's go out. Let's go out of this cave. We're gonna keep going toward the road. And go a little bit further. This is just a place that I like to chill and relax with this dude. This dude's my homie. I don't know his name. Just kidding, I do know his name. It's 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 Jiro. Giro, Giro. It's one of those. Gyro. So we're gonna talk to him. We can uh we could sell stuff, we could buy stuff from him. I personally like getting as many hardy things as possible. So we'll take all his hardy stuff. So this is why I was having you kill these dudes. So we have we have this, I mean, okay, we got a stick, and then we can, we can use the stick to light the fire, and then light this cooking pot, but you know what, I'm not gonna do that, I already told you, you can get a great flame blade, fire sword, that's what I'm talking about, oh my god, it looks so good, it looks so glorious, and then you just light that bad boy up, it's amazing, it's awesome. Take all the food that you have, gourmet meat, for instance, and raw prime meat, so first we're gonna get a bunch of gourmet meats. I'm gonna cook all that up in this cooking pot. Bam! We got a meat skewer full recovery. How nice. Alright, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a bunch of prime meats. Cook that up. Boom. Thank you very much. Meat skewer. Ten hearts. Not bad. Next thing, and this is why I'm having you do the Icy Lizalfos Post Tales. Alright. You're gonna I'm gonna have you hold four of those and then get something that you have a bunch of right like restless cricket yeah, you can do restless cricket we'll just do that and then cook that up phenomenal get an energizing elixir and then well if you guys want like restless crickets and stuff let me let me show you that real quick oh yeah you got a high tail lizard you got a restless cricket fantastic you just keep you just keep doing that and then, uh, it's really easy just to get a bunch of crickets. Oh, what's up? How's it going, man? You gonna you gonna send that to me? What if I just do that? That doesn't. Does that help at all? And then I can do that a couple times. Do you? Does that does that not feel good? Do you, do you not like that? Is that not does that not feel does that not feel pleasurable at all? Oh, you're on fire. Are you gonna are you gonna go away now? Okay. Well, I'll see ya. That was fun. Amber, some mighty bananas. That's not bad. Okay. Now that we have all this stuff, let me show you how much they're actually they actually cost. Because they're worth a good amount of money. Alright, so for every gourmet meat skewer that you make, it's 490 rupees. For every raw prime meat skewer you make, it's 210 rupees. Which isn't as good, but I mean you're collecting them anyway. It doesn't matter. So you get all the icy Lizalfos tails. And one restless cricket, I guess, if you want to just whatever. And it's 400 rupees! For all that so really I mean you, it's, this is this is over a thousand rupees just for just for whatever and you can keep going up and down that tundra and you make you make a bunch you make a bunch of rupees you are you make you make a rain god fucking damn it so that's it guys Five ways of getting rupees in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, plus the sixth one, which was a little lackluster, I'll admit, because what was it? It's in this little cave that we can't. I mean, I. It's got it's got some rare stuff in there, <laughs> and you know you you can take a picture of it, find out where all the other rare minerals are. You just figure out how to farm, just farm rare minerals, and that's that's another way of doing it. But honestly, that that tundra one where you, you kill a bunch of people. And it's, you get so much money doing that. It's ridiculous how much money you get doing that. <laughs> and that'll be it, guys. Uh, oh, restless cricket. Let's get this. Oh, he's running away. By the way, if you guys want a better way of, of doing that, let's get rid of the fear study thing real quick. Let's go back to our fantastic stealth suit. So if you wear the stealth suit and do a little do a little spinny spin, these uh, these critters won't run away from you because of all, because of how quiet and stealthy you are. See, look at that. Restless Cricket. Boom. He wasn't even running. He was like, oh, hey, what's up? What's up, Link? And he's like, oh, shit. And then he runs away. All right. I'm done with you. If you guys like this, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out a whole bunch. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.